Bald Eagles have made a remarkable comeback since 1967 across the country and here in Maine. State wildlife officials say when the eagles were placed on the endangered list, there were 21 known nesting pairs in Maine. The latest survey done in 2018 found 733 pairs, most of them along the mid coast and down east. But now, after bouncing back, bald eagles are facing a new threat, lead poisoning. State biologists say that lead is coming from the remains of animals shot by hunters. As in, they're now asking those hunters to make a big change to help save the bald eagle. Here's New Center Maine's Vivian Lee. Since January, there have been nine cases of bald eagles found with lead poisoning in Maine. Five sick eagles were rescued and taken to Avian Haven, a wildlife rehab center. All had elevated levels of lead in their blood. Others were euthanized or found dead. The latest casualty, two weeks ago, a female discovered on the island of Isleboro. This x-ray of the bird shows fragments of lead ammunition circled in red. Even the smallest sliver of lead absorbed into the bird's gastrointestinal tract can become toxic. They're more lethargic and are less able to, to fly and, and take care of themselves. Webb is a wildlife biologist and the director of Maine's Inland Fisheries and Wildlife Division. He says eagles are ingesting the lead while scavenging the remains of deer and other game that have been shot and left behind in the woods. Waste meat from game butchers is also left out to bait coyotes. You know, our message to hunters is to consider, um, you know, switching to non-lead ammunition. A new campaign is being launched to encourage Maine's more than 200,000 hunters to use copper bullets, which are considered as effective as lead, as a way to reduce the threat to eagles and other wildlife. Will Lund has used copper bullets for years. He is also the managing editor of the Maine Sportsman. The publication is also encouraging hunters to make the switch, which is slightly more expensive than lead and easier to buy online. We're hoping that as more people opt to purchase it, that will increase availability, more small stores will carry it, um, and uh, the price will come down. Now, certain types of lead fishing tackle is illegal in Maine, and a ban on lead ammunition to hunt waterfowl has been on the books since the 90s, but the unusually high number of eagle deaths over a short time frame has led some to call for an outright statewide ban on lead ammunition to hunt wildlife. We're not take, talking about taking away somebody's ammo. We're just talking about good conservation practices. David Trahan is the executive director of the Sportsman's Alliance of Maine, which has 8,000 members. He believes another source of lead are in the remains of deer involved in car accidents put down by local law enforcement. He believes the majority of hunters will go lead free because they love wildlife, especially a species that has bounced back from such low numbers. All these eagles on the landscape is a good thing. It means their population is healthy. No eagle should ever die from lead poisoning. The Sportsmen's Alliance and other hunting groups plan to work with the state to convince hunters to switch to help save our nation's symbols of strength and freedom. In Augusta, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. The state's public awareness campaign for hunters is expected to be up and running before bear hunting season begins in August. And if you'd like more information about lead-free ammunition, just head to our website or social media app.